What's going on, movie goers? If you're new to the channel, my name is Krishna. Welcome to Sea World Productions. Okoye, you guys, from Black Panther. Now, we've all heard that, yes, she's going to be getting her own Disney Plus series. But now it's looking like it's going to be starting production early of 2023, which is some exciting stuff because Denai Guerrero as Okoye in Black Panther is just simply amazing. And I would love to see spin-off stories, prequels, whatever you want with the Dora Milaje and Wakanda and the world of Wakanda. Absolutely. That world, it's just big. It's bright. I want to see more of it. I'm super excited for Black Panther Wakanda Forever to see how they explore more worlds and stuff like that. Different characters. I am so damn thrilled to, to when, they, when they announced that Okoye was getting her own TV series, you guys. That is so exciting and so reassuring that Marvel has much, much bigger plans than what we all think. Let me read you guys some of this article from Murphy's Multiverse. So, the Marvel Cinematic Universe is growing faster than it has ever before. With so many new characters bringing a, bring a, uh, bringing a ton of new stories to tell, Disney Plus has given a cinematic universe a whole new playing field to expand and develop more projects with some of the most beloved characters in comics. Smaller characters with overflowing with potential such as Agatha Harkness and even Okoye or soaring solo projects that will be able to explore their characters better than their mothership projects were ever able to do, which makes a lot of sense. When you have these Disney Plus series, you can explore different backgrounds, different characters on a much smaller scale, but kind of at the same budget, honestly, because I'm pretty sure these Disney Plus shows cost just as much as making a fucking big blockbuster Marvel movie. And you, there's so much more storytelling and so much more time to tell, especially when you have an eight to nine episode series like WandaVision or Falcon the Winter Soldier or Loki. I love the idea of expanding the universe on these Disney Plus shows, you guys. It really works. Continuing on. Back in May, we learned that actress Denai Guerrero would replace her roles as Okoye, leader of the Dora Milaje, for her own very so for, for, for her very own solo project. It was reported that this series would be separate from the previous announced Wakanda project from Ryan Krugler. I forgot about that. He's working on this whole Wakanda project. Damn, I wonder what that's going to be about, man. That's going to be some exciting stuff. Whew. Ryan Krugler just owns that world. Dope. Most likely diving into Okoye's origins and upbringing as she trained and climbed the ranks of the Dora. In the new report from the GWW, the site has revealed that the spinoff series is currently set to begin production sometime in 2023, alongside projects like the Fantastic Four, Nova, and the highly anticipated sequel to Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. Holy shit, that's exciting. The project is currently being... The, the project is currently believed to be a streaming series on Disney+, Plus. yet another series and the ever-expanding slates that will hit the streaming service. That is exciting stuff, you guys. Man, I am absolutely with it. Absolutely with a whole series on the Dora Milaje. That would be so freaking awesome to see. Dora Milaje and a team-up film of like, or a series with the Black Widow girls from Black Widow. That would be so badass, you guys. I just... It's going to be difficult for me not seeing Chadwick and, you know, potentially not having another Black Panther take up the mantle, you guys, of, you know, Shuri become the, the new Black Panther, which I don't think is earned yet. Um, it's it's going to be hard. It's going to be hard, man. But, you know, I'm all behind of the world of Wakanda. I'm all behind of seeing Denai Guerrero, you know, praise her roles as a Koye, especially for a Disney Plus series, because there's so much you can do with that. I mean, even them just showing up in Falcon and the Winter Soldier. She didn't show specifically, but... The Dora Milaje was so bad ass. Whenever they on, whenever they're on the screen, they they attract all the attention, and it's powerful. It's beautiful, and that's what I love about the Dora Milaje. Whenever long you just you, you shut up and you watch, because you know there's gonna be so many so many badass moments. You guys, oh, so excited! But post your comments down below. Let me know how you guys feel about Denai Guerrero doing her own Disney Plus possible series or film. We still don't know yet for. Okoye. Thoughts and opinions, you guys. Please post your comments down below. Let me know what you guys think. Peace.